I think it's the last song that I have to do from G Herbo's album. Which is, oh no. I have to do Death Row and High Speed. So, Death Row, here we go. So if I take that back, come outside, I tell her I ain't regular. I knew she was a vibe when I met her. I rocked out the dollars, but this bitches love me like Ocella. So let's give me some. I respect you, don't judge me like I'm anyone. All right. I can already tell that this song is not going to be one of my favorites off the album. Simply because it seems like it has no subs, no direction. No story, really. Just rap. My favorite song from G Herbo, at least one of them that I can remember off the top of my head, is Malcolm. Simply because he actually explained us, uh, he explained two scenarios and their environment within both of them. You know what I'm saying? And kind of, kind of joint both of them and compared them. At the same time, as far as this song, this song is more so straightforward and just rap. When I seen the title "Death Row," you could play with that a lot, a lot of different ways. You know what I'm saying? But he chose to go immediately with that way. I don't know. I wonder if if it's an artist out there that make the title first then talk about the title. Then because I know I know one artist he said uh, he named his songs the title of the beat. <laughs> and I was like, that's the dumbest shit ever. Like, we could tell you doing this just because you don't really care, you know? I don't know. I think the name titles will get more appreciated as, <clears throat> as we go on. Hopefully. I wasn't thinking about the consequences that was working though. I jumped in first on the trap, but I hit that bitch church today. Ask me who you working for. Tell me what you're looking for. He just getting money. What you got a merc for? He said he just getting money. Why you got a merc for? I feel like that story could have been. That could have been a little story. Or that could have been dope. He, I like how you put that in there. Because... Like him just saying that he, he get money while you murk him. You know what I'm saying? That could have been just hating. You know what I'm saying? Somebody just hating. They seen him, somebody getting money on a certain block or wherever. And they just murked him. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's crazy. But nowadays. Like artists are really in danger I wouldn't go to the extent to say that it's like the most dangerous job or anything it's just you never know people's intentions you can't have a certain function and invite certain people over because oh I'm telling this person I got a party I'm telling this person I got a party so I can throw a nice function along those lines Somebody, somebody's gonna tell somebody in, in the wrong head. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody gonna end up telling somebody or he, overhearing, "Hey, this rapper having a house party." Woo -woo. First of all, I don't ever have a house party. 
at your house. You know what I'm saying? Have that money at an Airbnb and you know what I'm saying? Don't pull up. Don't pull up in your car. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Pull up in a pull up in a sprinter with all the homies. I don't know, bro. Because as an artist, you gotta watch out for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You gotta move strategically. You know what I'm saying? You have a target on your back without even actually doing any target things. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have to go out after nobody, but people broke. People need money. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Bill, my baby mama hit me up. Ooh, ooh. I'm in the hood, I ain't got no money, but I found out that they're having a function and a party over here. And I know for a fact he gonna have at least 10 bands on him. Them 10 bands should last my girl a whole year. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this shit, though.